to receive the award and the first recognized for protecting American Jews. Our family <coughs> is forever grateful. More personally, our family extends warmest thanks to our dear friends Larry and Barbara Goldstein, who shared that story with Yad Vashem, and they could not be here tonight as well. Being named among the righteous is a fitting tribute to Dad, a man who lived by a sincere Christian faith and an infectious love for everyone. We're very proud of him, and we're humbled that he joins a small minority of ordinary people who mustered extraordinary courage to uphold the goodness and dignity humanity. <coughs> My dad, like Miss Gundon and Biestis, are heroes. In a defining moment, when evil demanded their conscience and even their very souls, they refused to join the masses, but instead bowed to no one and chose what is right regardless of the risk. Choosing right by their creator and right for God's children. What they did is right today. It's right tomorrow. It's right always. As we honor these enduring lives, it's especially fitting that you have favored Dad on January 27th, International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Or as Lester shared on this day 71 <laughs> years ago, my dad purposely stood with his Jewish and non-Jewish brothers and told the Nazi commander, we are all Jews here. We're blessed to know Dad's story, and blessed by his actions, but most blessed to know some of the men he saved. Remarkably, you've met them, they've joined us tonight, along with their beautiful families, and their three Jewish American veterans who stood strong and defiant with Dad that bitterly cold January morning. Staff Sergeant, Lester Tanner of New York, Tech Sergeant and Medic Paul Stern of Virginia. Happy birthday, sir. <laughs> Sergeant Sonny Fox of California. Two men who were unable to attend but wishing us well are Tech Sergeant Hank Friedman of Georgia and Tech Sergeant Skip Friedman of Ohio. <coughs> and we must always remember the 1,200 courageous and defiant doughboys of the U.S. Army who stood in sharp formation that day with these heroic men and my father. All are heroes. Gentlemen, we salute you. Thank you for a job well done. My father's legacy, like all of the righteous, are the children, the grandchildren, and the great-grandchildren of these men. I'm often asked, why would your father do what he did? Dad would say, son, what's all the fuss? I was just doing my job. But I say Dad's life was guided by one eternal truth, that there is a God, and that God is good. And God's love, though free, has one essential responsibility. We must be good to one another. Or as Jesus proclaimed, we must love one another. And that's what Dad did, along with these others who are being honored tonight. And they leave an enduring legacy along with the tribe we call the righteous. Their actions were founded on God's love and their extraordinary and the extraordinary idea that all men and women are created equal. Tonight we celebrate them because they acted on that idea. And though we honored them with words, nothing honors them more <coughs> than their actions. Our duty now is to take strength from their example and resolve to live as they did laying down one's life for freedom and human dignity. God's word says this, the godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Gratefully, we do too. Thank you. May God richly bless all of you with his grace and his mercy. Foundation founder and Academy Award winning director and producer.
producer Steven Spielberg, who will introduce the President of the United States of America.